Okay, it's uh, time to fuel the airplane. First thing I'm going to do is put on the overflow tank. Next thing to do is take the pump off, pull out the tube, pull out the uh, fuel filling tube, pull out the green fuel line, third line for the tank. Make sure you don't lose the little black stopper. You'll be hunting around for that all day. Give it lots of cranks. I'm going to try to empty the tank, empty the overflow tank and then fill it back up just a little. Okay, that way I know the tank is in the airplane is completely full. Grab the black stopper, pinch the line, pull this one out, put the black stopper in, put that back in there, put that one away. Pull the vent line off and put it back on the muffler. Make sure it's good and tight. Okay. And I always back back crank this to get the fuel out of the both the pump and the line. And we set that one back on the ground. Alright, time to start the engine. First thing I'm gonna do is turn on a radio. Radio warms up. Turn on the airplane. Then I check the controls. So all four controls are working, throttle's working. And so I'm going to set the throttle to about 20% power. Put on the glow plug. Crank her up. You always walk behind the airplane before you pull this off. So have you just seen in the previous video how quickly it is to refuel and restart your airplane? what I call gas and go. Um, it is a whole lot easier to get a, a lot more flights in, uh, training flights especially, um, when you're using a glow powered airplane. My preference of glow, some people call them nitro airplanes, whatever, nitro airplanes. Um, to me, nitro airplanes, uh, one fly a heavier airplane, the airplane you're seeing here is about eight pounds and if you're going to take an eight pound airplane off as, with an electric you're going to have a big huge battery and owning six or eight of those batteries just gets very expensive um, <clears throat> and um, so the, the to me there is an advantage of flying nitro airplanes versus electric airplanes um, the other advantage is uh, yes, you can fly big, heavy airplanes with a with a electric motor, um, but it seems to me a whole lot easier to fly them with a with a um, nitro motor. Um, and the nitro motor and the heavier airplane, to me, is an easier trainer because it has the momentum and the size to see it easier and to behave more like a real airplane with it being less affected by winds. If you're flying a two or three pound airplane, you're gonna get affected by winds a lot. Seven or eight pound airplane, not so much. You can fly in five or 10 knots, even train and fly, fly, uh, fly a trainer um, with a student in five to 10 knot winds, and it's not affected like uh, a small little electric. So yes, electrics uh, are still in my info story. I still like to fly them. But for training purposes, uh, I probably prefer 
the nitro airplanes, uh, these being, uh, this one being a very good typical example of it. In future videos, you're going to see me um, fly other training videos. You've already seen uh, the Cadet LT-40, now you've seen the next star you'll see others um, as a comparison uh, between the two. So, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to future ones. Thank you.